when the world witnesses Sahalanthos, the hands of the Doomsday Clock will roll on, regardless of zero. Sahalanthropus will take the first giant step into a brave new world. It is the bell with which a world, trodden upon by words, declares its independence. Remember the Alamo. This is Queen Quake on station to provide cover. Get us a line of fire. Roger that. We're not the only demons in this world. Like you, vengeance is all he has. It's man's thirst for revenge that drives the times. Just as you live because of me. He lives because of you. Show him!
Mission list updated. Platform construction. Code Docker. What are the metallic archaea? Volcanic craters spewing sulfur. Water hot enough to boil your skin off. Ocean depths of 800 plus atmospheres. Wastelands, radioactive enough to kill you where you stand. There are groups of organisms that survive this fight. No. Because of living in such environments. I've heard about them. Extremo... something. Extremophiles. By selecting certain species, then subculturing and repeatedly modifying them. I created a metallic offspring of pure archaea. They subsist on metals rather than organic matter. And some of them even consume uranium? Yes. Uranium enrichment archaea metabolize only uranium-235. As a result, they produce weapons-grade enriched uranium. How is that possible? Consider how plants fractionate carbon isotopes when they conduct photosynthesis. Nature possesses abilities Stop beyond our imagination. So it was Archaea that brought down your chopper? Corrosive Archaea, yes. They oxidize metals, feeding off the energy in the electrons they receive. What became of the wreckage? We had the R&D team retrieve samples for study in uh, airtight plastic containers, of course. Prudent. We shall extract our chaos from it in good time. They should help you fight back against Black Anna. Any chance we could start now? It doesn't have to be a lot. I might just have another use for them. If it's only a small amount you need. That's fine. I'll get the R&D team to assist. Let's go. South Africa was previously suspected of developing nuclear weapons. It already had a conspicuous presence at the UN because of apartheid and its armed expansionism. But when neighboring Angola and Mozambique became socialist countries in 74, South Africa felt hounded into a corner. So it accelerated its nuclear program to protect itself. Three years later, the Soviets discovered a test facility and two years after that, an American satellite observed a flash in the southern Indian Ocean. It said this was South Africa conducting a nuclear test with the help of a certain ally. Skullface used the situation in South Africa to get this ally to lend a hand. They both wanted nukes, so it was a mutually beneficial relationship. On the surface, anyway. I figure South Africa started getting serious about nuclear weapons production in 75. In 74, the government was still able to get by with bluffing that it had a nuclear arsenal. But the year after, word spread that an independent armed group in the Caribbean was crushed by Cypher for possessing a WMD. That's right, boss. What happened to you and your men was the reason South Africa decided to push ahead with nuclear development. A force independent of any country getting its hands on a nuke. That was a threat to the existence of countries everywhere. It wasn't just South Africa. Your presence pushed a lot of countries to get nukes. The world was scared of you. You were a threat to more than just the Cold War. If nations are gears in a machine, you had the power to smash them loose and watch the whole world grind to a halt. Emmerich uses externally powered legs of his own design. 
It's bionics technology, a product of the U.S. military's failed attempt to develop a powered exoskeleton. All the wearer has to do is apply a little force, and the actuators continue the movement in that direction. But his legs are unique. Instead of using a hydraulic mechanism, the actuators run off metallic archaea. That increases the actuator's reaction speed and also enables him to lock and release the joints at will. The legs are a nifty little gadget, but they have two clear weaknesses. First, they're dependent on external power, maybe because he built them knowing he couldn't leave his lab. There's no internal battery. That's why they won't work if they aren't plugged in. Second, and this is more than just a weakness, the legs are directly connected to his bones. Could be to minimize signal loss and the order's output to the legs and the drive response from them. Either way, Emmerich has used bolts to attach load-bearing parts directly to his femurs. Probably by mimicking surgical treatment for compound fractures and the like. But the end result is those legs and his body are fused together. And that appears to be how he's able to move them so precisely. But that also means that any shock to the legs would be delivered right to his bones by way of those bolts. The same is true if he encounters the corrosive metallic archaea. If the corrosive archaea ate into the exposed bolts, they'd reach the endoskeleton parts and eat through them too in the blink of an eye. The doctor's bones are full of holes to accommodate all the bolts. They're like sponges. If he were to lose the reinforcing parts, even the tiniest bit of force or weight would snap his bones. So when I dangled those corrosive metallic archaea in front of him, he realized straight away what would happen. Life wouldn't be worth living if he lost those legs of his. I'd bet that is what the doctor fears the most. I just helped him imagine what it would be like. Thanks to that, I got the information we needed without either of us getting hurt. You know how he is. He's probably already over the shock. The better you know your adversary, the easier it is for you to get information from them. And vice versa. Select a mission. Unit dispatched. Please select a mission. The Helanthropus is on the move. The instruments on the support chopper are all malfunctioning. And Eli's acting strangely for some reason. Something's not right. Boss, for now, just get away from that thing. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> 